What's poppin' mofos? It's your girl Monet Exchange here on my channel. And today we're getting spooky, kooky, ooky, ooky, ooky to give you guys this fierce, fabulous, mumtastic look. Girl, I did not do a tutorial of how I like made this look, like in terms of the bandages and the nails and stuff, but I'll put the materials down in the description box below. It's super, super, super easy, and you can use your brain. It is just tea, coffee, and ace bandages. Before I even get into the video, I want to say this. You should be liking this channel, you should be subscribed to this channel, and your notifications should be on. How else are you supposed to know when I have new content coming? I'm moving to the UK for three months. I will be vlogging and be doing some really fun shit, so you should be subscribed to the channel to watch my journey as not just a drag queen, not just as your favorite drag queen, not just as a makeup guru, but as your homegirl, your friend. So click that subscribe button and put on the notifications, and um, if you want to see this look, stay tuned. All right, Patty, listen, I am, um, I'm covering my eyebrows. I hate covering eyebrows, but we're doing Halloween spooky ooky time, so you gotta really, you know, give the children the whole thing. Um, and yeah, I think these are pretty much covered. I'm gonna put white, I'm going with clown white in this area so that I don't need to, like, match it to my skin perfectly. You guys are gonna hear me say, that looks great, because I have not done, like, avant-garde, not my normal makeup in a very long time. So you probably hear me use that phrase a lot throughout this tutorial. That'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be great. And that's what you have to tell yourself about your makeup. When it's going south, just be like, girl, it'll be fine. I am recreating this look. Um, I did this look many, many, many a year ago um, for Look Queen, the party that Bob used to host. Now, I used to have the mummy costume, but Patty, in the deconstruction of my drag room and like sorting stuff, Patty lost the mummy costume, so I had to buy a new bandages and new gauze and re-dye it and redistress it for this look. I've never been an avid Halloweener on account of, you know, I grew up in the West Indies. I have um, a very black and Caribbean family and they don't really believe in Halloween. I have a few friends from Nigeria. They don't celebrate Halloween, it's just not a thing. And, oh my God, is I think Halloween is just not a black holiday. I think white people just believe in that shit. Y'all love spooky shit. Y'all love weird shit like that. Black people are like, we're not fucking with that. I can watch Hocus Pocus. I can watch scary stuff. But getting costumes, which always seems so fun. Like, moms, like, picking out costumes for their kids. And they're, like, working on the costume together. The gays love just being like, ooh, I'm a, I'm a sexy nurse. I'm a sexy angel. I'm a se Every, everything is sexy, everything. Just to wear a fucking harness and live that fantasy. A few Halloweens ago, um, Bob had his bloodbath party in New York City, and um, I, that's the year I went dressed as that like black. I did like a black glitter unicorn. Girl, that costume was so messy. My entire apartment was covered in black glitter because I, I painted my entire head and arm and hands, everything black, 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 like black, 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 and then I put glitter on top of it to be like a black unicorn. I put this unicorn horn. And my apartment was a mess. Because, you know, because when you do that stuff, you don't think, okay, I live home alone. I need to put lights on. I need to grab my keys. I need to, then you, then you can't find your keys. It was just black shit everywhere. And then as we're leaving the party, this guy is standing outside stage 48. And I'm walking, this is back when I had my car. I'm walking to my car. Mind you, again, I'm in a black cat suit, black <laughs> glitter everywhere, black sclera lenses, like, you know, no wig. And he's like, damn, Ma, you're looking real good. And I was like, Okay, I keep on walking. He's like, wow, you just, you just, you just gonna ignore me like that? And I'm like, ignore him. He's like, nah, but for real though, can I come over? I'm like, what about this is sexy? You come over to my apartment. What, what is appealing to you about this? This seems messy. Bitch, I'm sucking your dick. Your crotch is just going to be like a black hole. Like, like, just think about the logistics of it. Just sounds annoying and gross. And I just, I'm so perplexed by dudes like that. We hooked up. <laughs> he came over and we got suck that dick, girl. I went, yeah. <laughs> it was a murder scene in my apartment. You ruined your horn. <laughs> How does this look on camera? Wild. <laughs> I'm going to set the Miron Super White with Ben Nye Super White Powder. Now, this Super White Powder is the ticket. Look at that. This part of my eye. 
When Bob used to do his makeup and he had drag kids like Raimundo, Cracker, Lily Heavenly, all the kids, and they all used baby powder to set their pout their their, their their foundation, their creams, and their highlight. Isn't that not crazy? And to to this day, if Bob for whatever reason ran out of like his setting powder and stuff, he will still use white powder, like Johnson and Johnson's baby powder to set everything. <laughs> I'm like, that is just so crazy to me. And he swears by it. But I was like, yeah, nothing wrong with it. I'm like, girl, no, ma'am. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my contour color. It's gonna be a little dark, but it's gonna work. Trust and believe, trust the process. Right now you look like an antelope or something from Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now I'm gonna go in with the super white again to blend this brown out so it's a little less harsh. And it's uh, more blendy. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. I just almost bragged, but I'm like, it's too early to brag. I'm not close enough to the final product to be like, bitch, I got this. I'll brag a little later because it could still go very much south from here. Look at this nose pattern. This nose is cute, right? All right. Now I'm going to go in with the MAC coal liner to create my crease because it covered my brows my crease can be anywhere I want it to be today uh oh it might be a little too high <laughs> oh my god uh oh yeah I'll be fine that'll be fine that'll be fine Wait, I'm trying to measure and make sure their top should be here about, yeah. Anytime I'm trying to measure my crease and make sure they're equal, I'll go to like the height of the other one that I drew, and I kind of draw a line across to kind of get me where I think the other one should be. I have full on Jimbo. I'm Jimbo walking to the workroom. And I'm going with the Sugar Pill palette. I don't know what color this is. I want to say it's kimchi. Can you see that? This color? I think it's kimchi. <laughs> what? What? This looks spooky yuki. Patty's giving me weird eyes behind the camera. This look weird. Yeah, it's just a suggestion. <laughs> ah! Yeah. So yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, we're coming. Okay, and I'm gonna go with this purple at the bottom, just so you can add a few more colors and things and. Bibby bop, some shibbity boops. And also, the fun thing about it, honestly, the real tea is this Halloween look. It can be like a little messy. It doesn't have to be like as clean because it's like a dead mummy fantasy. Again, you want someone to look cunt. But, you know, the beauty of this look, it can be a little messy. Brows. I have not drawn brows like, like, like brows in so long. I'm so excited. Oh my god, what brow shade do we want? Also, I forget where this should start. Uh -oh. So because she looks how she looks, we're gonna clean her up first. So then we know what journey we wanna take with the other eyebrow. <laughs> Just keep on picking up the same things and putting them back down. Patty? Patty. I, I quit drag, I quit YouTube, I quit everything. Though I'm gonna be a dead mummy with rosy ass cheeks. I'm like, I'm dead, but I'm alive. <laughs> let's put on lipstick. Let's just let's put on lipstick. Let's do that on lipstick. This blue card is called Kiki. 
um, from Sugar Pill. I've had this for so long. I mean, when I tell y'all, y'all, years. Okay. Then I'm gonna go with OCC, Obsessive Compulsive. I don't know what color this is. It's one of their lip tars. OCC was a really dope makeup brand. Willem, Alaskan, somebody else, they were like the faces of it. Uh, the company ended up like going belly up, whatever. Cause they were a very, very dope makeup company. I don't know what happened. Look at that. Right? I am cracking everything. Under Sugar Hill. Knick. Gif. Let. Lurk. It's purple. Would that look cute on top? I, I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna go for it. We'll see. Here we go. I don't know what it is. I just cannot do a matte lip. Matte lip just does not work for me. And this looks cute. All right. Oh, yes. Patty, I think we got somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna step on camera and um, finish the look and I'll be, should I do like a little, I'm gonna do like a little Layla McQueen mold. This is the heart. This is the makeup, y'all. I'm gonna step up camera, finish up the look, and I'll be back with the final product. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the final look. Now, I had, I'm gonna be honest, I had moments where I was scared. I was like, this is going to end in disaster. The eyebrows came out good, adding the contacts. I did these nails literally an hour ago uh, when I was uh, finalizing the look and everything. I think that this is a job well done. Patty, toot or boot? Toot. Yes. Okay, not a shoot. Work, drag me. <laughs> Honestly, overall, for real though, this is a pretty easy look to do in terms of like costume. I literally just got some ace bandages, cut them up, and I stained them with black tea first, then I stained them with coffee later, and I used um, uh, X-Acto knife, and I just shredded them, and I did small ones for the face. So if you like want like a last minute Zoom costume, it really is not that hard. I promise, I promise, I promise. This is my last ditch effort to wish y'all a happy, happy, happy Halloween. This lash is, is, is about to jump though. You know when you got a, a jumping lash? Girl, girl. So, but yeah. So thank y'all so much for watching this video. Um, happy Halloween to you and yours. And I'll see y'all on the flip. Patty and I recorded a season seven react video that's probably coming in the next video too. And also Patty did my makeup in a video. Um, <laughs> thank y'all. Love y'all. Bye mofos. Because. Ugh.